My assistant just deposited $95,000 to your account. Please make the video as soon as possible. Oh my god. So for the past like two weeks or whatever, I've been emailing Aldi back and forth. Aldi is a supermarket in the UK. I imagine they're not just in the UK. They're probably knocking about all over the place. Anyway, I got this email about two weeks ago. Hi Jack, this is Aldi's corporate. I emailed you about a sponsorship about three weeks ago and you did not get back. We are making some spare money with everything going on. All right, that doesn't make sense. So if you don't get back, we may ask other social media streamers such as Dan TDM and will any we will provide up to five thousand dollars to sponsor a video we don't know how much you want but if you want more or less we're willing to give up as much please get back to us as soon as possible if you are interested kind of some grammar issues there doesn't sound like it would be oldie but it's from mark hobesinger sure i nailed the pronunciation and he's oldie's chief executive officer let's give him a google there he is chief of aldi gives up mark leaves the company prematurely so he's not even at the company so obviously i saw this so i was like Okay, this is just some kid pretending to be Aldi trying to like get me to do something and I thought to myself Hey, that's a video. <laughs> so let's just play along. So I emailed back. Hi, Mr. Aldi. Thanks for your email What is the goal of this integration? Please don't give the sponsorship to Will and E. You've stolen enough ad revenue from me already. Glowing regards Jack, we went old school. Now, Mark got back to me pretty promptly. Dearest Jack, you can call me Mark. The goal of this sponsorship is to encourage people to continue to go grocery shopping. We have noticed a serious decrease in sales. Noticed a serious decrease in sales, yet you have some spare money lying around. All right. We've also noticed that some people are purchasing our products and reselling them on platforms such as Facebook Marketplace. Okay. We will not give the sponsorship to Will and E. However, you must give us a price range. I apologize for the loss of revenue Will and E has stolen from me. <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> So I saw that and I was like, what am I doing? So I just left it. Anyway, 24 hours later. Attention, Jack Massey Welsh. We apologize for this inconvenience, but need your answer regarding the Aldi sponsorship within 24 hours of this email being sent. Please reach out as soon as possible if you want this sponsorship. Again, the end goal of this interrogation. <laughs> Is to encourage your audience to know it is safe to go grocery shopping. Do you really want to be encouraging that? Like, yeah, people still need to go grocery shopping, but only if it's an essential trip. And, okay. Please get back to me by 6 p.m. Monday, April 5th. I've been messaging for a while. Deepest regards, Mark. All right, Mark. All right. Hi, Mark Aldi. With the wrong spelling of Mark, obviously. Sorry for the late reply. I'm very interested in this campaign, but would be looking to match my usual price range of $25,000 per 45 second integration. Just in case it's not obvious, don't normally charge $25,000 per 45 second integration. Although, you know, if there's any brands listening that have got that budget, then that's my price at email. I assume Aldi has the budget for this. I can also do $40,000 for a 1 minute 30 integration. Any brands that are out there, $40,000, hit me up, that'd be great. Please let me know if this works for you and specifically what you'd like me to film so I can get a draft sent to you for review. Glowing regards, Jack sucks at life. What am I doing at this point? Why am I spending so much time on this? First of all, my name is Mark, not Mark. <laughs> I want to have a look at Mark Hubsinger. Is that him? Is that Mark? This is the fella emailing me. That works very well. How would you feel about $60,000 for two minutes? If that doesn't work, we can easily do $75,000 for two minutes. What is that negotiation? <laughs> Great business sense, Mark. I can see why you were fired. You could do any type of video you want to do. We want something that would catch the attention of a child and parent. Whatever you think works best, maybe some Easter content. I'll remember that. They want Easter content. If you could also do some social media posts, we can pay an additional $10,000 for some social media posts. Is it okay with you if we also do a sponsorship with Will and E? <laughs> <laughs> so obviously, I went ahead and took their top offer of $75,000. Seems about fair for, you know, a two-minute video that's going to get about 100,000 views. However, I will need a 10% deposit in advance to provide some security on my end. Here we go. Let's make this kid start to sweat a little bit. So I sent them a PayPal. I said if they need an invoice. I wanted to be really professional in this email because I was hoping they'd think that I was actually serious. Please create a document which goes over the specifics of the integration and then I gave some examples. Once I have this info, I can begin to create your draft for approval. That's how real sponsorships work on YouTube. You make the video, you send it to them so they can let you know that they're fine with it. Then you upload it and they pay you like 45 days later normally. I could also do an Instagram post included in the $75,000, but I do charge $10,000 per tweet, so I would need more money if you wanted to move forward with this. That seems fair to me. You know, I did do a tweet that got 600 likes the other day, so 10 grand, yeah. My best mate Mark got back to us. Okay, I will have my marketing team come up with a document. Please tell me how much I should deposit for the following. I will deposit the money as soon as you tell me how much. I told him how much, I just made these numbers up completely. <laughs> Mark asked if he could pay now and he'd get his assistant to get it 
gets sorted and then I didn't reply so he messaged again. Before I go to bed I was checking out your Instagram page and there are only 60,000 followers. Why 20,000 for a page with only 60,000 followers? Anyways, good night. Shove a question mark on the end of your questions, Mark. Come on. Mark, what's this about? You're leaving big spaces between each question. You're missing question marks out. You didn't begin the email with hijack. You're meant to be a professional. And also, if you're not happy with me prices that I've completely pulled out of my ass, then go message Will Any or Dante DM. Hey, by the way, feel free to subscribe. It's like 50% of you aren't subscribed. And we upload multiple times a week. Give you something to watch when you you got nothing to watch. Thank you. <laughs> I couldn't be doing with it, so I just ignored him. The cheek to question my prices. Hi, Mark. You're welcome to deposit the full amount now if you wish. Good evening. But then I only just noticed this when I was getting the screenshots ready. I put my name on the email twice because I have a little auto email thing set up. So it says, good evening, Jack. Thanks, Jack. I'm as unprofessional as Mark... The herb singer, what's his name? Next day I got this back. My assistant just deposited $95,000 to your account. Please make the video as soon as possible. My marketing team will create the doc tomorrow. Thank you. And uh, I won't lie to you guys. I checked my PayPal account. <laughs> there was no harm in looking, wasn't there? There was two possible outcomes. There is not $95,000 in my PayPal account, as suspected, so I just go ahead and make this funny video. Or the second outcome, there is $95,000 in my account. I've somehow managed to blag a hundred grand from Aldi. Let's record the two minute integration for them. <laughs> anyway, I thought I'd leave it kind of cold turkey for a few days again, so they kicked off. Attention, Jack Massey Welsh. All right, Mark, calm down. My assistant just deposited the money you asked, and now I need a video. Video. Please email me back. I've just deposited $95,000. Please get back to me within two hours of this email being sent or we will find another way to get the message out. Sincerely, Mark. I thought I'd just mix things up, call him Anthony. Hi, Anthony. Unfortunately, I am unable to proceed with the draft because I'm still awaiting the campaign document you promised last night. Get me me document, Anthony. Also, just check the PayPal account. No sign of your $95,000. My name is Mark. All right, Anthony, chill out. So then they said that they'd sent the PayPal account to the wrong account. They put .com instead of .net. Apparently, George Joseph had deposited the money. Nice one, Joseph. I told him they got the wrong PayPal account. We lost 95,000? Seriously? Okay, but now I can only do the video for 25,000 for 30 seconds. We'll be good. I'd do 25,000 for 30 seconds. That's fine. I will deposit the money immediately personally. The Google Doc will be over by tonight. Where's this bloody Google Doc? I've been asking for the Google Doc for about a week and a half. And then they sent the Google Doc. This one was actually from Joseph Higgins. Who's that then? Let's give that a Google. Have they just made Joseph Higgins? Higgins up? Is he just a random person? There's a guy on Twitter who does not follow me, so I'm guessing that's not him. This guy shows up. That could be Joseph Higgins. Come on in, Mark. Come on in, Joseph. Get me arm around, yeah? This is a nice one. Smile. <laughs> so should we have a look at this document? Our campaign goal is to engage your audience to ensure they are safe to go grocery shopping. I want you to mention that nobody has gotten the coronavirus due to visiting our store. Is that true, Mark? Do you 100% want to say that just in case it turns out not to be true? So anyway, I got that and I was like, what am I doing? So I just left it for like two days. They kicked off with their shouty attention thing again. Attention, Jack Massey Welsh! We send you the money and the document and no video. I fired my marketing team because they could not produce a document in time. Please get back to me as soon as possible. Possible. And then I didn't, so they messaged a day later. Jack! <laughs> so at this point, what happens? There is not 95,000. Uh, you know what? I haven't checked. I'm checking. Oh, that's sad. There has not been a $25,000 deposit recently. This £417 is mine that I had in there already. I want to give a shout out to my 113 knock. What's that in pounds? Eight quid. Okay. I don't even know what THB is, but we've got 1954 of it. Oh, it's 45 pence. It's Thai currency. Yeah, if you do live streaming, you find that you just end up with really odd amounts of weird currencies just stuck in your PayPal account for the rest of time. I've not streamed for about 12 months, but I've been carrying this 48 pence of Thai bat around for the last 10. Anyway, at this point in time, I feel like the only logical thing for us to do is record our integration for Aldi. <laughs> I'm thinking we go green screen. What do you reckon? My office is actually too small to have the green screen up without moving the sofa. So let me just shift that out the way for you. Push the chair in. I have to do this every bloody time I make a GeoGuess a video. Get the green screen out, no problem. Oh yeah. Now, uh, I don't know about you guys, but I'm getting paid $95,000. No, I'm only getting paid 25,000 now. Hey, that's still not bad. So because we're getting paid all that, do you think I could be bothered to edit this integration myself? No. That's right, Kai, you know what's coming. So I was thinking, um, Kai, I'm gonna just like dance here for 30 seconds. Can you please turn it into the sponsored video, send me the file on its own, and then I'll email it to Mr. Aldi and uh, hopefully we'll, we'll get our 100 grand. All right, here we go. <clears throat> Hey, 
Hey, do you like Aldi? Yeah, you do. Did you know that if you go to Aldi, you will not get the... Did you know that if you go to Aldi, you can buy a cure to the coronavirus? Very cool. This is my friend... What's his name? This is my friend, Mr. Carrot. Add some punch sound effects. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Editor Kai, for editing that. I think that's exactly what they're looking for. <laughs> so it's actually been 10 days since my last email, and they sent a few since and eventually gave up 8 days ago. Dearest Mark, terribly sorry for the delay, but perfection doesn't happen overnight. Please find attached the final interrogation. <laughs> It was a pleasure working with you, and I hope that we can work together once again in the future. And there we go. $95,000 well earned. I do owe them a couple of tweets, but we'll forget about that. It's been like eight days. If the real oldie is watching, please don't sue me. That would be fantastic. Let's send off our email and finalize things. Brilliant. There it is. Look at that. So exciting. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for watching this video. Please don't email me with something similar. I only wanted to do this once I'm just gonna ignore you and block you if you email me this time. I really should have said that earlier in the video Good God. We upload a few times a week on this channel So if you enjoyed this you'd probably enjoy some of the other videos I make so make sure to subscribe And yeah, thanks for watching Kai. Fantastic job on the edit. Look, that was goodness me <laughs> All right, see you later